Hey, 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 Jamie. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we are honored and uh, really uh, proud to be here and invited to speak at the Limitless Conference. Yes, thank you for having us. Uh, we love conferences. We encourage everyone to always attend conferences. And as the company just announced uh, in August, we have our first live conference in three years. So definitely, you know, be there because you want to rub shoulders with people who can really, you know, give you so much knowledge and help you in your business. People like um, Darren, Frank, Mauro, these people are doing things that you want to do. So yep. definitely be there so you can rub shoulders with them and get all their magic rubbed off on you. Um, with that being said, today we're going to cover your network is your net worth. And we're going to kind of deep dive into that. Uh, definitely. And guys, what does that mean? So you have two types of networks. You have your personal network and you have a professional network, right? What it does is, guys, it helps you expose yourself, promote yourself, builds your character, provides opportunity to learn from others, helps you become authentically resourceful and helpful. That's right. Um, to understand what networking is, it is your social capital. So it works like putting money in the bank. And every time you help someone, you deposit some social capital, yep. meaning you help in whatever way you feel you can, advising, job recommendations, a lunch meetup, an introduction. <clears throat> and then the law of compounding kicks in, just like what the products that we deal in. The law of compounding does kick in. And part of your wealth happens to be social currency. So if you have not built up your social currency, I wouldn't consider yourself wealthy because you need to have a, you know, a really good, strong base. So yep. networking. Yep. Networking. And, you know, a lot of people think uh, there's uh, somebody who's really outgoing and they're, uh, you know, meet people and make friends. It's natural. No, there's no such thing as natural talent. It's trained talent, right? There's a great book called Your Talent Code, which talks about networking can be one of those things. Is Networking is a skill you can develop and just practice and get good at. Right. And then you're wondering, where do I find people? Oh, yeah. That's a question. Uh, yeah. When we get sometimes new people uh, come join us, they're like, I don't know anybody. Where do I find people? They're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> you can utilize online. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you are not using Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, right, to make a connection, LinkedIn is one of the most powerful tools available, guys. With 360 million users, 760. oh sorry, 760 <laughs> million users, unlimited leads. Yes, or even in person, you can go to state fairs, pop up markets, vendor meetups, yep. friends, um, restaurants. Restaurants happen to be a big one. Go to happy hours, meet other individuals out there getting off of work. Just connect with people. Go to networking events. We always think we have to go to networking events to network. Not true. Just go have fun and meet people. Um, and the best questions that you can ask, the two most important questions that you can ask when you're talking to people and they share their business is, what can I help you with? And can you help can me? I help? Yeah. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Easy, right? Now, one of the things that you're going to be shocked at is even though nearly 100% of the people agree that networking is essential, it's hard to keep in touch with people. Do That's you agree? Right. right? That's right. Now, studies show that less than 50% manage to stay in touch with their network that's right so we're gonna give you a little secret are we gonna give them that yeah it's okay. a it's a social crm it helps you cultivate your relationship so once you've made those connections and you want to cultivate that relationship how do we do that we use a tool called tiny blue so guys google it it's called tiny blue where you can add and manage unlimited people for free right? right a free tool Helps you maintain regular interactions by emailing you a reminder, hey, that you have not been able to or not been in touch with Jamie in the last 12 hours. Right. And it'll remind you if you put a timer on it so you can stay in touch with more of your people more often. And, you know, one of the things that uh, is always hit me uh, with Rob Robert Kiyosaki is saying the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Think about it. Just marinate that for a minute. The richest people in the world look to and to build networks where everyone else looks for work. 
Yeah, so you need to choose your people wisely because who you hang out with does affect you. If you're around people who believe that making money is easy and you can accomplish anything, if they just work hard and stay consistent, you're going to believe that too. Yep. However, the same is true if you're around people who are attached to the idea that making money is difficult, life is a struggle, <laughs> and they're constantly looking for scapegoats because of their failures. They're not accepting responsibility for their failures. So which of these beliefs would you like to carry around? Beliefs are contagious. So it's time to make sure that your network is filled with the right kind of people. Yep. And it's guys, it's hard to make money if you don't know anyone who has money. That's right. And an example, there's a very wealthy man. I'm not going to name him. And he goes out and buys a Bugatti. How much is a Bugatti, Reza? Like two million. So that's a very expensive car. And yeah, of course, he wants to drive it around and show it off. But the main reason he went out and bought it is because he really wanted to hang out into the he wanted to be inducted into the Bugatti club. He wanted to meet these businessmen in that club because he wanted to elevate his network. Yep. And, you know, understanding and how to design a network uh, and a powerful one, you at least need 25 people to help get it started. Right. So what are the who should be those 25 people? So. Five should be trailblazers, people with similar but established business in your industry. So in our industry, it should be the insurance network, right? So you're hanging out with Frank, Amaro, and some other uh, industry companies, leaders to really understand and learn from them. Um, five should be role models, right? Fascinating people outside of your industry to inspire and innovate, right? And then through leadership, Five thought leaders, people yep. who broaden your perspective. They, these are people that are going to continuously challenge you and make you grow. Then there's five informants. These are the people who are your walking dictionary. You can call them up and they know answers to all your questions. Yeah. And of course, you always need five cheerleaders who are out there you know, during sickness, health, wealth, disparity, wins and losses that are going to be there to motivate you and push you out of whenever you're sad and depressed. So you need this because this is your business strategy. Plan everything. Be purposeful in everything. So be purposeful in designing your network. And get outside of your league, right? Break the cycle of self-limiting beliefs. That's abuse, guys. Yeah, don't do self-abuse. Insurance agents are wizard. You're a wizard. With a quick, invasive questionnaire, I love this. several clicks of the submit button, and a few internal prayers, <laughs> Uh, we for an all a policy to issue, uh, we can make your kids nice to you because you have a beautiful death benefit. We can make sure there's money to put away um, to get your coffin in some overpriced eight by two lot and or secure your future so you don't have to compete with a 16 year old for a minimum wage job. See, we're wizards. <laughs> Everything you want in life is a relationship away, guys. Be limitless in your connections. Yes. So with that being said, we're just going to end it with the conference is so important because yep. you need to be limitless. This event is called Limitless. So be limitless in who you meet, in going out there and introducing yourself to multiple people, hundreds of people. If you don't have that goal every month that I should talk to 100 people, you're not going to be super successful in your business because talking to people is how we operate. That's how we earn an income. That's how we build our organization. Yeah, guys. And if you are have not bought your ticket yet for the conference coming up in Ontario, you need to do it now because that's where you're going to grow. So thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Xperia family. Thank, thank you. Thank you.